What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dermy Wormy. I'm coming at you with another video and this is a bit of a harder video for me to make because one, this all started blowing up yesterday and this was big news and very hard to swallow because Helldivers, which is a game I very much enjoy, I think is a wonderful game. I've loved every second of playing it with my friends, whether it be Vets Talking Crew, whether it be uh, my buddy Static, Shaka Zulu, Kel. I have fun every time I play this game. So this was a hard pill to swallow when this situation came out. Because about two days ago, late, late Thursday night, early Friday morning, one of the two, we had this uh, drop over on the Helldivers official account. Helldivers, an important message from our partner PlayStation about account linking for PC players and its significance and providing players safety features. Read the full message here. And they gave us a screenshot. And when you look at it, it's all about how you will be required to sign up for PSN as of right now, where beforehand it was optional it was actually optional beforehand but now you all must be required to sign up to psn now i know this seems like a silly situation it seems like a silly like nonsensical thing like why the heck are you complaining about this well it's it's because of how they said it that becomes the problem account linking players a critical role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on playstation and playstation studios games this is our main way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling the banning of players that engage in that type of behavior. It also allows those players that have been banned the right to appeal. Now, the problem with all this, and again, it seems like a very non-issue. Just sign up for the PSN account. Just sign up for a service that has been hacked over and over and over again, allowed a bunch of private information to actually get spilled out into the world. Uh, yeah, just sign up for that. But at the same time, they're doing this because, hey, we want to enforce these safety standards, enforce these things to make sure gaming is fun for all. That ultimately makes the game less fun. It makes the game unenjoyable. But one of the bigger things is this was a game that was always optional beforehand to sign up for PSN. You didn't have to sign up for PSN. I know there's a bunch of people saying, well, it was bugged at first. You know, it wasn't a big deal. They, they disabled it. You had to do it to play with friends cross platform. All that's BS. I've played with plenty of people that are on PlayStation. I never had a PSN account. I played just fine. I enjoyed the game as it was. And then on top of that, we've had, but because of the situation, Things have been exploding. Heck, over in the Helldivers Discord, you can't look at the general chat at all without it just going crazy. It is an insane thing. The moment you look away, the next thing you look, there's 50 new chats. That's how active the Discord is right now because people don't like this. And it's so bad, you got this. Helldivers 2 players threaten to quit game after developer announces mandate PlayStation Network account linking. And... Yeah, th this is something that people are really annoyed with, and you, you, it, it's not it's not letting up. And this could easily kill the game, kill the hype. They might be able to manage a decent player base for a while, but there's tons of people coming out here saying that they're done playing the game. They're they're just gone. They don't ever want to come back. I know several of my friends have actually come out and said that they're looking into ways to get a refund. And on Steam, when you do refunds, you have you can't have more than two hours played in the game. But they're like, we want to figure this out. We don't want to play this game. We want to get away from this. We don't want to sign up for PSN. This is a big situation going on. And it's so big. You come over here to the Steam DB. Helldivers received over 14,000 negative reviews today due to an update that will require PSN accounts next week. Overnight, it went from being one of the most positive games, something that people really enjoy talking about, always positively reviewed. I know there were some negative downvotes because of a recent update that happened that nerfed a bunch of guns, nerfed a bunch of systems, but people were going to steadily get over that, especially with the new war bond that was about to be coming out. That Even myself, I was like, you know what? I'm curious. Even though they just nerfed my Eruptor, uh, screw you, by the way, uh, the, uh, there's new guns I was interested in. There's always something in di uh, Helldivers that no matter what was going on, you always had fun. There was always something interesting. Even when they nerfed a bunch of guns, 
You always got this way of figuring something out. There was always rules that made you go like, okay, well, I want to try this. I want to try this. I want to try this. But with this change, people are pissed. People are really walking out, stepping away because they don't want to sign up for a service, especially during the Stellar Blade debacle that we're in the middle of, that is constantly hacking. They don't want to help out Sony. They hate Sony. They're playing on PC. Why the heck would I ever sign up for a PlayStation account, a PSN network account, when I don't have a PlayStation? And I know a bunch of people are saying, well, you have to do this for Microsoft. You know, Microsoft makes you do this for their games. My, you, you have to do it for there. But this was optional. This was completely optional for months at this point. It was a choice to be made that, hey, you don't have to sign up for a PSN. You don't have to sign up for a service that, again, has been hacked numerous times and has had vital information about its users leak credit card information, all sorts of information just go out there. And again, I get it. I'm not have to pay for it. It's a free service, but why should I sign up for it? Why should I sign up for it now when you promised it would be free? Wait, and they 100% they promised it would be free. And I was saving this for later, but we come over here to this guy, Odra. Sony is covering their tracks after Helldivers 2 debacle at Sony. Are you trying to gaslight all the customers that are going to lose access to the game they paid for because PSN is not available in their countries? The internet doesn't forget. And here it is. Here's a picture and you come down here. Do I have to sign in to PSN to play PlayStation games on PC? Signing into PSN is optional when playing a PlayStation game on PC. Do I have to sign in to PSN to play a PlayStation game on PC? Some PlayStation games may require you to sign in and link an account for PSN. These were just like days apart. These were days apart. It was one thing and now it's different. And this guy also brings up a good point. Wonderful point. A point that a lot of people are also mentioning. There are tons of players within Helldivers that are overseas that don't have access to PSN. They don't have any way to get a hold of PSN. They don't have this in their country, but yet you want them to sign up for a game that then they can't play. They paid money for this game. They've been paying money on this game. Now you're going to take it away from them. China doesn't have PSN networks. So you're going to take it away from the Chinese players. You're going to take away from all these people now because they bought a game. They were told it was optional from launch and now it's not optional. You are stealing money from players now. Can they get a refund? Probably not. You're screwing them out of money. You're screwing the customer out of money. Oh, but it gets better because I showed you. Uh, customers are pissed. Fans are pissed. I mentioned the Discord. The Discord is going crazy. Well, similar to back when we had this moment where our community manager decided to come out and declare the game was pretty damn woke. We have another community manager coming out here and putting their foot in their mouth. And I've been watching this all day. Again, I've been checking a look at that Discord repeatedly. It's been popping. I had to put the Discord on mute while I was at work because it was just constant notification after notification after notification killing my phone. You come over here. Helldivers 2 community manager claims negative feedback regarding PlayStation Network account requirement will not make a difference. And I've seen what this person has said actually in the Discord myself on one of their or later posts. They literally said, griping the Discord isn't going to make things better. I'm as mad about this as everybody else, but uh, you guys have to do it right. You have to go complain elsewhere. You can't do it here. Okay. But let's see what else they said. Okay. Because this person goes by the name of Splits. You see it right here. Message deleted. Sony is the publisher and needs a way to ban PC players. Right now, you can only do that by having to send a name to Valve and wait for Valve to, to action the ban. If players are required to have a PSN link to their Steam, Sony can just ban the PSN to keep them off the game instead of having to go through Valve. Why do you need to ban players? Why do you need to ban players from the game? Are they, or what, what are they doing? Oh, they're doing stuff that you just don't like. You don't enjoy what they're doing. And because PC gamers are honestly master race and they don't have to deal with this PSN stuff. Now you're going to make them live under the PSN boot. You're going to make them live under the Sony boot because you guys don't like what they're saying. It's all similar to when this chick over here, uh, the, 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 the Catherine Baskin was going ham 
and saying that they was woke and was attacking people in the Discord. It's the same situation, but it keeps getting better because you come down here responding to a guy saying, I'm not quite following how linked accounts would help with banning cheaters. If a Sony account isn't required to play the game slash isn't connected to Steam, it's very hard for Sony to track player accounts. Steam doesn't allow us to have any way to keep track of unique player IDs through our system. And since players on Steam can all have duplicate usernames, if we get a report for a user named John, for example, we have to we have no idea which of the 450,000 players named John we're trying to ban. But if they have a unique Sony ID linked to their Steam account, we can tell exactly which John it is and ban them easily. Why does John need to be banned? What is John doing that requires a ban? Oh, because again, he says something that you don't like. He does something that you don't like. No, no, I, I don't see why your logic here. It's solely to ban players. Why do they need to be banned? All I'm seeing is that you want to ban players, but we continue on. And yet it wasn't enforced at all. If it was enforced at launch, I would have refunded within two hours. And this is a big thing. This is a huge thing. This is a major thing. A lot of people are going around saying it was a choice at launch. It wasn't optional. You know, they just disabled it, but it was a choice at lunch. It was optional from the beginning. And now they're going back on their word. And this is what they said. It literally was required at launch, and it's been on Steam page since before launch. It was disabled about 36 hours after the game was available. Let's go over to what you guys said. Due to technical issues at the launch of Helldivers 2, we allowed the link requirement for Steam accounts to PlayStation Network accounts to be temporarily optional. Optional. It was optional even if you say temporarily it was optional you gave people the choice not to do it and that's what allowed your guys's player base to grow but now you want to take that away and then you want to talk about banning players oh wonderful and as we continue on splits continues <clears throat> responding to another person if that truly was a requirement i guarantee that the player base would not have been as high as it is this panel has been unchanged since the game was listed on steam and making an account with an email slash pass in five minutes to link it and forget about it forever really isn't a huge deal to be honest yes and then let my uh information just get leaked out there all over the place i get it it's not a big ask but at the beginning of this it was optional and now you're taking it away it was 100 optional you made it optional and now you're saying well now it's no longer optional okay we had to disable it because of act these issues and allowed our player base to rise up and now we're gonna crap out our player base because people can't play the game in some regions that are already playing it now and we're just gonna run away with their money okay and i get it you had this on steam but you weren't enforcing it so why enforce it now Oh, because you want to ban people according to splits. If you dislike the requirement to link your account, you're more than welcome to change your Steam review to negative or do whatever it takes to make that dislike known. But attacking AH devs, the community team, our moderators, or any other person who has no control or input into the change isn't going to help uh, help anyone. Um, but you guys are the, in charge of this. You guys are going back on your word. You're reneging on what you said. And yeah, I'm, I'm willing, more willing to bet that this is a Sony issue. This is 100% a Sony issue, but you guys are handling it so poorly. This community manager is handling it so poorly and basically come out here saying, well, we just want to ban players. We want to ban players. And you're not even listening to the actual player feedback. You're not even listening to the people that are coming out here saying, hey, um, there's about 100,000 players on uh, that player game. Maybe may more than that, honestly. I know it's 100 some, 100 million. Let's say 100 million players play your game daily. A lot of them aren't in the regions that have PSN, and they're going to lose out on literally everything. What, what are you going to do? What, how, how are you going to respond to that? Oh, we just want to ban people. We just want to ban people. So what about the people's money that you're taking? Oh, we just want to ban people. We just want to ban people, guys. We don't care about the money we're going to be taking. We just want to ban people. That's how this is all coming off. Oh, but Sony's forcing us. Sony's forcing us, even though we're running away with the money. We're taking the money and running. 
but Sony's forcing us, guys. Yeah, smart moves, smart moves. What is the point of having CMs if you aren't going to listen to feedback provided to the community? Exactly. You're a community manager and you're getting so annoyed at people in the discord saying, hey, we don't like this. You're supposed to report that to everybody. You're supposed to tell that to everybody. But hey, let's see what she says. Huh? Feedback is always listened to. Most of it is passed on and most of what is passed on is considered and goes into what changes we make. When it comes to a requirement from Sony that has existed since pre-launch, I don't think feedback is going to change much. Um, it wasn't existing since pre-launch. Like I showed over here. These are just a few days apart. It was not existing from pre-launch. Now, this is a thing Sony is probably implementing now, but this 100% was not a thing since pre-launch. This was you guys forcing this in. But hey, there's more. There's more because we get this one from Twitter. It's not like this is the first or even the 14th mainstream game to require a third party account that takes a couple minutes to create. But if it's a day deal, but if it's a deal breaker to have to take 120 seconds out of your day to enter an email and password and then forget about it, change your Steam review and make your displeasure known on a platform wherever it matters. Hey, you're saying for us to actually, you know, come out here and complain to you guys on Discord. But hey, it's just 120 seconds. It's just 120 seconds. What about the people that don't get to do this? I know there's people in their Discord that are actually advising the CMs. I think it was one of the devs actually came out and just said, use a VPN. Use a VPN. Just use a VPN. What about the people that can't play the game anymore? Have you thought about them? Have you thought about your player base has grown because there's people that could play it without a PSN account because there are people that can't have a PSN account. You're just running away with your money. You're just taking the money and running. Oh, because they don't matter. They're the plebs. They're the little guys. And this is my big issue with community managers. These people are supposed to be a representative for your company. Here's a person who's literally making it out, look out. No, here's a person that's literally making it look like all you guys want to do is ban them. All you guys want to do is go around and take their money. And what's a big deal about signing up for 120 seconds? What, what's a big deal? There's no big deal there, guys. It's not going to take too long. All the money you guys are now running away with. All the money. This will kill Helldivers 2 on Steam. Backpedal or lose your player base. I thought you were refunding and leaving. This is how you're re representing the company. Helldivers, this is how you're, respect you're respecting your audience? Is by taking their money and running? By going back on what you said, on treating your customer base like crap, and this is the biggest problem. These are your community managers. These are the people that are the front face to all your community, and this is how they treat their audience. This is how you treat your audience because these guys represent your company. This is You're okay with this? You're okay with them saying, we basically just want to ban you. It's not that big of a deal. Get over it. If you want your displeasure to be known, just say it. But then don't say it, okay? And it's just 120 minutes. What's the big deal? Uh, 120 seconds. What's the big deal? So what if you don't get to play the game anymore? We have your money already. We have your money already. That's the big thing. They already have the money. They're just taking it and running. Because they don't care. And this is what's going to hurt Helldivers. Helldivers is a wonderful game. I love playing Helldivers. I've had tons of fun with it. When it came to this community manager, the one that was going crazy, I, I, I thought this was going to be the end. I thought this was going to hurt them big time, but they can't manage to work their way out. She's shut the hell up. She Even on the Discord, she barely ever posts. She barely ever talks about it now. She's completely stepped away from it. That's good, but now you have in your Discord more people attacking it. You have the CEO having to struggle. You have tons of people struggling right now because this is a big situation because you're about to take money away from people and they're not going to be able to play the game anymore. This is a huge situation. You're acting like it's not a big deal. We keep going on because I want to pull up Savvy here. She had this long post that's saying, well, I heard originally it was, it was all sorts of stuff, but she's edited it since, but I want to watch this. I, I want to go through this. It is wild how much goofy stuff is going on involving Sony right now. It is my understanding that it was 
a requirement before, but there was a way to bypass it. It is also my understanding that if there is no longer a way to bypass it, you can request a refund regardless of hours. They filled they filed for several patents over the years that many people might find disagreeable from specific TV patents involving ads to NFT integration. The most recent involves recording players' voices to gauge emotional response. No, thank you. And these are Sony. That's what Sony's doing. Remember, Sony recently announced with a brand new patent to figure out how your voice is doing, figure out your emotional levels to ban you that way. But so you want me to sign up for that? Yeah, no. They've also been an uneven censorship spree. Sony famously also censors products in the name of sales for the Middle East because profit means more to them than actually caring about the products and whatever inclusivity they claim is important. Though, in the interest of fairness, they most recently didn't censor the Statue of Liberty in the recent Spider-Man movie for China, despite China's request. I also think that's a fascinating bit of information that China requested things like that censored. To be fair, when it came to the Statue of Liberty, that was a major point of the story. They couldn't physically censor it out, but she's right. They didn't do that. Anyway, do with this information what you will. And I think this information is fair. I think this is fair because this is telling you why people don't want to sign up for this PSN system. You're taking it away from customers. It was optional at one point. And on top of that, giving this stuff to Sony isn't the key. Sony's already patenting technology to make you basically get banned for just saying, for just getting angry in a game. Get banned for that. And you want us to sign up for it. And a game that's designed to make us yell at each other. Yeah, I'm going to say no. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. Let me get your guys' thoughts on all this down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it up, friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video and go live, guys. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now.